A lot of coins for both players. 16 and 21. High score. So a lot of coins for a lot of people. I still have the most. But Yoshi is also noteworthy. And Wario also has enough to buy a star. So... Okay, thank you. Oh, the chance times are back. <laughs> that didn't last very long. <laughs> and I managed to land in the one space here that is not a chance time. <laughs> I want to play a chance time. I want Yoshi's coins. <laughs> I was there only briefly. <laughs> Wait, that still counts as landing on the bank? Okay. I didn't know that worked like that. Yoshi used a warp block to switch with me. I was on the bank space. He still had to roll. And yet the Koopa still came out saying you won the bonus. There was no bonus because I already plundered that bonus. <laughs> but okay, even if you land on a bank with a warp block, even before you actually roll... It still counts as you landing on the bank. Interesting. The stuff you learn after all these years. Yeah. Now it's only 10 coins. Nothing to fear. And it is me, so... <laughs> well, Waluigi just gave me 40 plus coins, so he can have 10 back. I don't care. <laughs> Yoshi and his chance times. But anyway, there's two people on this island, so Wario can also uh, get another one. Or maybe not, because he's going to leave this island, obviously. The star's no longer here. And with a golden mushroom, there's no way he's going to stay on this island. Even though it's not a whole lot. Man, even with three rolls, he rolls a number you can roll with a regular dice block. <laughs> but it is enough to get him, get him off the island, so... Or maybe not. <laughs> One space before the pipe, and he still lands on it. Chance time number three. And once again, a computer player, so I can't control it. Okay, all coins. Not me, thank you. <laughs> also not me. Okay, Waluigi actually lost all of its coins in the first chance time to me, but he actually got more of them back by now. Because he lost 40 coins, but he gets 50 back. Plus the 10 coins he got in the previous chance time, so... And it's actually enough to get the star. <laughs> and didn't realize he was in front of the star. But he is. And he's also buying a magic lamp. Okay. He apparently knows he has 60 coins to spend now. So he's actually going to spend 60 coins. 20 coins for this star. 20 coins for a magic lamp. Plus 20 coins for the next star, which he's going to get through that magic lamp. So, Waluigi, in the span of two terms time, actually gets two stars. Making him someone to actually keep in watch. Rockin' Raceway. Waluigi turned from being in last place by a lot, actually ha having absolutely nothing... To somebody who is potentially dangerous because of having two, two stars all of, a all of a sudden. Becoming my biggest rival, as he should be, because it's his board after all. He's the one currently carrying the mischief star stamp. He's the one we need to challenge. So it would feel weird if he uh, isn't dead last the whole time. <laughs> He's no longer in dead last. Wario seems to be the biggest competition here. Oh, dang it. Okay, everybody else also screwed up. <laughs> so, I'm still going to win. Thank you. Okay, 98. Getting close to that 100 point again. 
always a nice feeling the moment you reach that 100 coins in any Mario Party game. Always a landmark. Okay, we're gonna go over here. I have my skeleton key, but in this case I actually don't want to go there, of course. Because the star is on this pathway over here. Okay, the next star is going to be Waluigi's, unless it spawns on a location Wario can reach. In that case, there will be three stars this turn, but it looks like we're going to be dealing with a two stars in this turn situation, because Wario can never reach that, even if he wanted to. He no longer has any mushrooms. He was Mushroom City for a while, but he actually ran out of mushrooms now, so... <laughs> Ooh, Magic Lamp, I'm pretty close by. Make sure I don't miss that. I made sure I missed that. <laughs> Dang it. Free magic lamp for the taking and I actually miss it. Man, I'm glad I don't need it right now, but... Would have been nice to have. But I still have another way to get a star. I have over 50 coins, so that blue bell... I can always use to steal another star. Okay, Mr. Happening Star lands on another one. And this one actually makes the middle area dangerous, because it's on one right now. For Yoshi it does not matter, since he doesn't have any coins. And for all the rest of us, we don't want to be in there the moment that the bomb goes off. Okay, well, Luigi's gonna go for the star now. Yeah. Giving him two as well. No threat to my coin star. He did get really high up because of the chance time, but he started spending those coins immediately, so he's dropped down by a lot already. So my coin star is safe right now, giving him no bonus stars. So he has two stars, but even virtually, he only has two stars. So currently, not a threat. But if he gets another one, that might change. Let's go see where it appears. In the middle area. Okay, that is going to be dangerous. With that counter on one, this might turn ugly. <laughs> and he's not reaching it. He can't reach it already, but he rolls a one. And he gets poison mushroom, warp block. There have been a lot of warp blocks in this uh, board so far. And we're not done with them, it seems. Oh, crazy cocks. You know, there's actually something I wanted to try out uh, in regards to this minigame. I completely forgot about that last time, but... This is a minigame I want to try to attempt to win by doing absolutely nothing. I made a trend out of this in Mario Party 2, doing certain minigames without doing anything. This is actually also one where you can do that. And... it completely failed. Okay. <laughs> Perhaps for next time, but uh, anyway, I was trying to show off. This is a mini game where you can in potential win by doing nothing. But not always. <laughs> okay, uh, threw away that mini game, but uh, I'm still winning, so I don't care. <laughs> Okay, he thinks Yoshi is going to win. He's the only one without any coins, so... He was the only one not caring being in that mi middle area because he had nothing to lose. But he does now. Okay, I'm gonna go stay away from there as far as I can for now. Okay, Yoshi's not going to trigger it quite yet. He will get a dueling glove. He does not have a lot of coins to wager. Please, someone land on the happening before I get in there. Okay, he's going to buy nothing. There was a boo bell in there. He's also going to miss that <laughs> happening area. <laughs> First duel. We're not going to see it, but still. Ooh, if Yoshi wins this one, he can actually pay for the star. And he wins it. Okay. Two people who can pay for the star in potential. Okay, plumber chest, that's scary. I think I need to use my boo bell. <laughs> Definitely don't want to lose that to you, Wario. Okay, he switches with me. Not really helping him, because he's further away from the star now. 
not too sure why he did that. He was the closest one to the star. Waluigi, you're an idiot. <laughs> Reverse mushroom. It can be handy there. And he lands on it. Thank you. And I'm the only one who's not in it. <laughs> Nobody can pay for the star. Except for me. And I'm pretty close to the star. Because Waluigi actually uh, put me on that western pathway over there. So this is looking very good so far. Okay, Coconut Kunk is a joke of a minigame. Let's get this over with quickly. Come on, Wario. Move aside. <laughs> You're not helping, Wario. <laughs> Come on. That's what you get for calling this minigame a joke. You immediately start losing. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Wario! Why aren't you doing anything? Computer players are big idiots. <laughs> there we go. See, Wario, is it really that hard? <laughs> but anyway, these guys also get some coins again. Not enough to buy the star. But still, I don't want to take too much time getting to that star. I also need to make sure I use my boo bell now, of course, because that plunder chest is scary. I have plenty of coins to steal a star. I'm ahead by so far in the general virtual standing that I don't really care who I steal from. So in order to show this feature off for the first time, I'm going to pick your choice. So the boo actually picks a random character. <laughs> and unfortunately it was Yoshi. I was hoping for Waluigi a little bit more, but on the other hand, he needs to be my rifle on this board. He deserves to be the rifle because of the story. So let's keep him on two stars for now. Um, well, I just stole a star, so... <laughs> Magic lamp. <laughs> I don't have enough stars, it seems. <laughs> Even though I can pay for only one right now, so... If Yoshi is stupid enough to duel me... He will give me enough coins to still get two stars. Okay. One coin is enough for me. Let's make sure it is not Bowser Toss. It's pretty much the only um, dual game that I fear in this game. The rest I can win. Crowd cover is a joke, so... B. Thank you for the 40 coins, Yoshi. <laughs> I can pay for two more stars. You can't pay for a single one. And you're not the only one. The, the other guys also can't. Oh yeah, of course, he still has a plunder chest. He might steal my magic lamp. And of course he does. <laughs> I completely forgot about that uh, plunder chest he had. But he didn't. <laughs> and he also gets lucky that he steals my magic lamp. Because of me having three items... There's only a 33% chance he steals it, but of course he gets lucky enough. But look at him look at him thinking he's smart. First of all, you don't have enough coins, and second of all, you're officially not in the circle yet, so you're actually gonna go back to the start. <laughs> Big idiots is what these computer players are. However, they are not idiots in certain minigames, like Baby Bra Baby Bowser Broadside, for instance. <laughs> Because they are going to beat the crap out of me here. <laughs> I am in the most favorable starting position, I think, uh, like I mentioned the last time. If you start at the bottom, it's definitely the easiest. As you can see, this way I can actually get ahead of these people. And when we start moving around, then this minigame becomes a problem. <laughs> Not gonna worry about it too much. Don't need the victory, and I've never won this mini game, so losing here again is not really surprising me. And then to think that before the platform actually started moving around, we were actually ahead of these people. Okay, we have three more turns. I was planning on buying two more stars, but apparently only one is going to happen. 
do need, need, need to make sure I make it, because Wario has that magic lamp. He does not have enough coins currently, but next turn he might, so... I'm not gonna take any chances. Okay, I'm gonna ignore the stupid, useless skeleton key gate. <laughs> Still don't know why that is a thing, but apparently it is. And let's get star number four. Okay, that location I'm pretty sure nobody is going to reach, ever. So, let's try getting there anyway. Nope. Okay, I'm also going to ignore this other skeleton key gate, even though I am faster, I don't want to play a Game Guy minigame. <laughs> let's do it like this. Okay, Yoshi has enough coins for the star, so he might try to get there in two turns' time. Okay, he comes home with another dueling glove. Here's Yoshi thinking he's Wario <laughs> with all of his doing glo with all of his dueling gloves. And speaking of Wario, he has a magic lamp, but not the potential to use it quite yet. So. He needs another blue space. Or a minigame, of course. Okay, Waluigi is giving himself another mushroom. And once again, I don't really know why. <laughs> what the hell is this guy doing? Okay, Luigi, Yoshi... Mushroom Wario, DK Shy Guy, Peach Wario. Yeah! Okay. Ah. yeah, let's go. I've got this. Luigi. Soon to be superstar Luigi. <laughs> DK Peach over here, Shy Guy over here, Mario over here, Bananas in the top right. Done in half the time, so I have half the minigame's time to start screwing around with the curtains again. <laughs> Yoshi's changing his mind. I'm not too sure why, because he's actually uh, switching something that was correct. <laughs> Yoshi, Yoshi, Yoshi. What are you doing? Not getting a perfect score anyway, not even close. But I sure did. And Waluigi also did. He might be a big idiot when it comes to using his mushrooms, but he does have a good memory, it seems. So, Wario stays below 20 coins. No magic lamp use this turn. Giving people a chance to actually reach that star. And I'm not going to be one of them, because I was sent in the wrong way again. <laughs> because of the roulette being way too fast. Okay, another duel incoming. Okay, me again. For one coin? <laughs> really? Is it really worth uh, wasting video time for? <laughs> and now Bowser Task gets picked. <laughs> you should have gotten that one the previous time, Yoshi. Because this time around it's not going to be... Worth your while. <laughs> or mine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. That's the big downside of trying to control your control stick that late in the minigame. If you don't do it correctly, you don't really have time to correct that anymore. And stuff like this can happen. Well, at least it was worth a new record, as for the two coins. It was not worth it, because you already lost those two coins again. <laughs> okay, Wario, you have one chance to actually land on a blue space or get coins otherwise. And buying new stuff is not helping. Why the hell are you buying a second item? There's only one more turn after this. Wow. 
Wario. I already called Waluigi an idiot. I already called Yoshi an idiot. But now you are one too. <laughs> What can I think about these guys? I wanted to say something decent about the AI of the computer players, but they're not really giving me uh, a reason to do so. <laughs> okay, next duel. I want revenge on Bowser Toss actually, but I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, another one for one coin! <laughs> These last couple of turns are a big time waster when it comes to video time, because this is not doing anything. <laughs> this is not really adding to the let's play. <laughs> the next screw minigame. Crazy Cox already tried to do absolutely nothing. And in fact I might try to do the same, because this one coin duel I can't take seriously, so... Unfortunately, you're not able to actually get these cogs off, as you can see. They actually stop the moment you reach the edge. <laughs> oh, come on. Hurry up, Waluigi. <laughs> I'll just screw around here, because uh, one coin du duels I refuse to take seriously from now on. You can have my one coin, I don't care. <laughs> Such a waste of time. Let's just quickly move on to more serious matters. Ridiculous Relay. I'm pretty sure this minigame showed up every single board so far. And I get the stupid machine again. <laughs> But so far, I've been able to win in that too, every single time, so... I'll start complaining the moment I lose in that machine. Until then, I'm not allowed to call the bad machine. <laughs> let's get ready, and let's go! Oh. <laughs> ah, come on! Okay, safe to say that went horribly. <laughs> Go, Waluigi! Save my reputation! <laughs> Thank you for getting hit. Ooh, it's going to be really close. Gets hit another time. Therefore, we win! Thank you! Not a single time the solo player has been able to win. Not even the times I was the solo player. Because I also lost the moment I was actually paragliding here interesting way that minigame can go. The final turn, people. I have a skeleton key that I got for absolutely nothing, so let's waste that. We've been wasting uh, plenty of time already, so let's waste some more time. <laughs> the final turn of Mario Party 3, finally. After more than 50 parts, two runs through all of the boards, we have arrived at the final turn. Definitively the final turn, because this board is not going to get the replay. I'm winning by a lot of stars, so I don't have to fear these guys. Only a chance time can stop me. And not a single one of these guys are actually near a chance time, so I don't see anyone landing on that. Wario got lucky in the last minigame, he earned enough coins, so he can use the final magic lamp of this playthrough. Even that still happens in the very final turn of this game. The final Mushroom Genie. See you in Mario Party 4, because that's also a game where he still appears. <laughs> it's a different kind of Mushroom Genie, but still, he returns in Mario Party 4, officially. That's when we'll see you again. Oh, speaking of chance times... <laughs> However, both Wario and Waluigi are too far away from that, so they're not going to reach that. Even though they should, because it's the only thing that can still stop me from winning. <laughs> but they're not going to reach any chance time. 
And this is where it ends. One more mini game to do, and it's going to be a one versus three. Spotlight swim. Let's win the final mini game of Mario Party 3. And declare ourselves the superstar, finally. It was fun and everything, Waluigi, you stealing that mischief star stamp. You will get second place, you were definitely the one who uh, challenged me the most. But you didn't win. Therefore saying, this is where it ends. Four stars for me and 66 coins. One coin more than Waluigi has. <laughs> so even end with the most coins. Let's tally up the final results of this project. Not just of this board. Not just of story mode, but of the entire project. This is how it ends. Four stars. Yoshi didn't get any. He will get the Happening Star, I'm pretty sure, but still. Wario and Waluigi, one and two. Coin-wise, I uh, had in the 90s for a pretty large time. I fell back a little bit because of buying stars, but in the end still had the most coins. By one coin, but still. <laughs> most coins, too. Okay, bonus stars, minigame stars, not going to be uh, a question. Same applies to the coin star. Six stars for me. I didn't get a single happening, so I'm not running for that. But Joshi sure is. The only thing he did good today, <laughs> landing on happenings. Okay, the final announcement of the winner. Yoshi got his happening star. Didn't help him, still gets last place. Wario gets third. Waluigi, the challenger. Still gets second, but the mischief star stamp he's still going to have to give back. To the one per person who earns it, Luigi. Yes, Luigi With his final victory, the new superstar and owner of the Millennium Star. Because don't forget, that is what, what, what we've been doing this whole time. My final result is uh, apparently suffering from six illness. <laughs> six stars and 66 coins. Interesting way to end. Also giving me an S rank. Shy of two boards, I actually earned S rank everywhere. Interesting. But let's finish this story off.